Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ravneet and I am very excited today because I am going to be attempting the very first time pan those eyeshadows challenge. I've been doing a lot of project pans specifically related to eyeshadows <laughs> for past few years but I've never attempted to pan eyeshadows. I would rephrase, I've never attempted to do pan those eyeshadows project pan because I was focusing on finishing the eyeshadows rather than just using them. But last year I have acquired a lot of new eyeshadow palettes and also I've used up my very old eyeshadows. So most of the eyeshadow palettes I have are newer than 2020. So yeah, let's get into the video. But before, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel because I make a lot of panning videos. Now let's start randomly generating five eyeshadows to work on. And my main focus would be to hit pan on all of those eyeshadows. But also I want to give myself a leverage of rolling out an eyeshadow if I used it 20 times, but that's not necessarily a benchmark for me to like roll out an eyeshadow. I will only be rolling it out if I have used it more than 20 times and I still don't see any progress or it's not working for me or anything like that. And also I will re-roll the eyeshadows that are kind of clashing with my pan that palette eyeshadows because I don't want to be like double dipping or I don't want my pan those eyeshadows to be like overlapping with uh, the similar colors in my pan that palette so that you know I would have to use either so those are the only rules that I've set up for myself for now let's see how this goes I have my eyeshadow spreadsheet open on my computer I have listed all the eyeshadows that I don't have pan on so I will be selecting five eyeshadows from 210 eyeshadows because those are the eyeshadows that I have in my collection which do not have any pan let's start generating numbers all right, so I have filled the minimum and maximum. Let's generate the first number. It's 157. I'm going to type it down. Okay, let's get the next one. Oops. Oh, 74. And the third one. Oh, 93. 60. Two, one, two, two, four, and the last one is 111. Sweet. Let's see what these eyeshadows are. I am really excited with the numbers. So the first number is 157, which is from my Lost in Lost Angeles palette. It's City of Angels. And second number is 74, which is Incense from ABH Norwena. And number 93, it comes from my Rare Beauty True to Myself palette. Uh, its shade name is Loyal and number 62 is uh, a bro bone sort of shade from Walking on Eggshell Squad from Bed and Wild and 111 is a shade from My Glam Enchante palette. I don't know the shade name because it doesn't have any but let me go grab all of them and see what color story we get. All right, I am back with my palettes. The first shade is called City of Angels and it's from Lost in Los Angeles palette. From BH Cosmetics and it's the last one which is a really pretty bluish purple or purplish blue no it's actually a blue shade with a slight hint of purple and I am really excited to use it a part of me just doesn't want to hit pan on these beautiful shades but you gotta roll with it and the next eyeshadow comes from my Norvina palette and it's called incense and it's this eyeshadow right here it is very similar to some of the shades in my pan that palette actually if you just look at the bottom row except for this one all the shades are actually very similar with the shades that i have in my pan that palette except for the shade called passion and the shade called passion is actually very similar to another shade that i got randomly picked up in this project which i'll be showing you in a minute so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to re-roll and generate a new shade from the top row and the eyeshadow called soul so i will be generating a random number from eight eyeshadows let's see what i get so i have numbers one to eight number five I am so excited! It is this eyeshadow called Celestial. It's a really nice purple shade. I think this and City of Angels, they're gonna pair really well together. Oh. 
and the third eyeshadow i have is from my rare beauty palette it's called discovery true to myself and the shade name is loyal which is this one two three four fifth shade in here and this is the shade i was talking about it has a lot of burgundy sort of tones to it and i'm gonna just swatch it here oh i just realized i haven't <laughs> swatched my previous eyeshadows but i'm gonna do it off camera and i'll show you my color story at the end so this is how this eyeshadow looks like these eyeshadows are very hard pressed so i'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to hit pan on them And the fourth eyeshadow is from this Walking On Eggshell Squad. It's by Wet n Wild. It's this sort of eyeshadow that is very slightly shimmery. It can be used to highlight pro bone or in inner corners. It has some shimmer particles. It's pretty. I think I can get fan on this. This doesn't have a lot of shimmery tint, so I'm thinking if it would kind of like overlap with the bro bone shade i have in my pan that palette but we're gonna roll with it because uh, this still has some sort of shimmer to it and i won't be using this eyeshadow to blend my other looks so yeah i think it's different in that regards and the last eyeshadow comes from my my glam palette called enchante and it doesn't have eyeshadow names uh similar to the wet and wild quad but I got number four in here, which is this gray eyeshadow. These are really tiny, but I think they still have like a lot of product in them. Um, so this is how that one looks like. I think it's a nice true gray. Let me quickly swatch the very first two eyeshadows. And I'm going to show you the color story I will be beginning this project with. So this is the color story that I'm starting this project with very wintry um i hope you can see the purple shift in this eyeshadow called city of angels i'm really excited to be working with this one and i think it's gonna pair really well with a uh, gray shade uh overall i think this is like really cohesive color story and i can create a lot of different looks with this i am really excited to be working with this and Date you next month on how much progress i'm able to make on these eyeshadows that is everything i have for today's video i hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching my video i will see you in my next one until then take care bye